Today I'd like to share with you exactly what mindfulness is, but before I do that, I think it's really important to understand what mindlessness is so that you can compare and contrast. So think about those times when you were driving home from work and all of a sudden you're home you know you drove home from work, but because you had all of these things on your mind, or maybe you were paying attention to the radio and wasn't even thinking about how to get home, you didn't realize the turns you took or the road you took, which way you got there, but you got there. That's mindlessness. Another example of mindlessness is when you're sitting in front of the couch and you're dipping into that bag of chips or the bag of cookies and all of a sudden you're at the bottom and didn't even know that the whole bag was eaten. That is also mindlessness. Mindfulness is a complete opposite because you are paying attention to the right here and the right now and that is what mindfulness is. So let's say think about when you are doing something that you love. For me, it's salsa dancing or yoga or even spending time with my own little kid, that is. So when you are doing something that you enjoy, maybe for you it's reading or exercising or eating a bowl of ice cream. It can be anything in the world. If you are really paying attention to the right then and there that nothing else could distract you because all of your focus and your concentration is on what you're doing, that is an aspect of mindfulness. Another layer to mindfulness is not having any judgment, any judgment on the situation, whether something is being done good or bad or you know anything in the middle. Also, not having judgment upon yourself as you go through the situation. So paying attention to the right here and right now without judgment and with kindness and curiosity. And what I mean by that is, again, because you're not judging, you have kindness upon yourself and upon others. And curiosity comes from creating that space where you can be so attentive and so fully aware in the present moment. You can learn a lot of things about yourself and a lot of things being in your surroundings. So you would be really surprised as to what can come to your conscious awareness when you give yourself the space and time. So that, my friends, is the difference between mindfulness and mindlessness. And it is my hope that you engage in more mindful activities. Please be sure to come back or to hit subscribe so that you can learn more about mindful activities, not only for yourself, but also for the children in your lives too. It is always my pleasure to help you learn, grow, and inspire mindfully. See you soon.